I'm Matthew McLarnon. I do actually go by Matt, but uh, I use the pronouns he and him, and I'm an associate professor here at Mount Royal University in the Business School of Business in the area of general management and human resources. My research is all over the place, but I have a PhD in organizational psychology, which is an unfortunate term for what I think is a really cool area of the study of work, how people do their work, what the experience of employees is all about. So my research is on that, but then probably narrowing down to sort of three um, more narrow areas of research around employees and teams, well-being, and statistical models. So as more um, in-depth examples, uh, I have re a line of research on how we can optimize conflict in teams, how we can enable better collaboration, better um, workplace settings when you have to work with others in an interdependent manner. And then also all around, around teams also help teams uh, gain confidence, gain more effectiveness, gain more expertise, and also help uh, teams um, with their team personality, their team identity. I also deal with research around employee res resilience and well-being. And that has to do with, uh, as an employer, you're constantly confronted with challenges. You may lose a major client, get passed over for promotion, even get fired. So how do you bounce back from that? What can help and what can hinder when somebody's been faced with a really difficult uh, issue like that? And then the sort of last category of my research is all around uh, advanced statistical models. Our data, either just in the world, in a company, is extraordinarily uh, messy and really complex. So I apply tools to help um, get um, practical, actionable insights that can help uh, companies make more well-informed, well-evidenced decisions. Psychology. I'd always been interested in psychology, um, but it really gained my attention in terms of the psychology in the workplace, applying what we know about psychology, what we know about humans in the context of work. I just became fascinated to think about all the different issues that can be at stake in terms of how to lead how to manage our employees, how to enhance motivation, just fundamental issues here in the context of work. It is all over the place. So today I worked on a study around um, uh, daily motivation. So the motivation I feel right now in this 15 minute time could be different from the motivational forces I feel in the next 15 minutes. So understanding the dynamics, the ebbs and flows of what is motivating for me, how that's going to result in different performance, how that's going to relate to my well-being. I focused on that today. Tomorrow I have to do some teamwork um, uh, research around understanding how my team is built and constructed, what different skill sets do other team members have and how we can combine the collective and go from me to we. Uh, a lot of the research I've done around teams, especially when it comes to my research on team conflict, actually stems from data we've collected from uh, students that are engaged in long-term um, projects. So uh, engineering students that uh, come together in, in the fall semester, they're working with a group of students over the entire academic year. So we've learned about how they collaborate, how they uh, enable better lines of communication, how they can better share ideas. And I hope we bring that back to the classroom to help teams and whether or not it's work teams or student teams, enable sort of more collaborative experiences, enable them to work together better. So our research that has been published widely is meant to come back to the classroom as well to impact how our student teams um, learn and grow and develop and get new soft skills that are going to be sought after by employees, employers. And around the data anal analytics aspect, um, I've been working with a really awesome group of other um, Mount Royal faculty and we've developed a minor in data analytics. So it's applying some of my areas of expertise around statistics and helping students get the skills that they'll need to help their companies and their employers deal with the masses of data that are out there to make um, evidence-informed decisions. <laughs> it, the, the, the list is endless and like every new day, every new like article I read sprouts off like another 15 ideas. So this coming summer, I want to spend a bit of time uh, looking at a few more teamwork studies just around how we can maximize collaboration, minimize dysfunctional conflict, but also think about different um, structures of individuals' personality because we kind of we bring our personality to work and how we can have and think about different personality styles, what that was going to relate to our interaction styles. And then also thinking about um, what resilience can mean a bit more about how we deal with challenges, what are the internal processes I might use to get over an issue that I encounter at work. We all work. We're all at work right now. So what can we do to help your motivation, 
your satisfaction, your teamwork, because we're operating as a team right now. How can we ensure that our teamwork is as collaborative, as efficient, as effective as possible? So the research I do and get my hands on is meant to help the world and is broadly defined as possible in terms of helping our teams be more collaborative, help our employees be more satisfied, be more effective, have greater well-being. So the, the hopefully the impact is wide reaching. It's research is everywhere. It is all about identifying a problem to be solved and figuring out a potential solution. And there's not sort of just one way of doing research. It's not just about running an experiment, completing a survey, putting your head into an MRI machine, although that can be pretty cool. It is finding stuff out about our world. So applying, you know, uh, your own context, your own knowledge, your know, your ways of knowing and doing whatever unique basis that can be, it will help. Research is meant to help individuals do better, be better, and together with like a really broad focus on research, I think the world can be a better place.